Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I was touched, touched by the speech that was given by the honourable gentleman from Tunbridge and Mayling. He gave a very interesting contribution to this debate. But significantly in that debate, what the honourable member spoke about was what he defined as the national interest. And I would implore this House to consider that what we're talking about here is the family of nations. And we're seeking to effect a compromise that respects the position of England of wanting to come out of the single market, but in turn, we're asking that this House respects our position. When we faced our referendum in 2014, it was the Conservative Party, both in London and Edinburgh, that told us that if we stayed within the family of nations within the United Kingdom, that our future in Europe would be guaranteed. Well, that has changed. And we recognise that not only has that changed, but our economic future now looks very different. We know that as a response to what has happened with Brexit, that the currency has fallen against the dollar by more than 15 per cent. Some commentators talk about inflation rising to between 3 and 4 per cent. And yet, this government has a programme which means that those on working benefits <coughs> will not get any increase in payouts over the course of the next four years. Put simply, Mr Speaker, the people of our country are going to become poorer, and we cannot stand back and allow that to happen. Fraser yeah. of Allender have made it clear that 80,000 jobs will go in Scotland. The average worker will be poorer to the effect of £1,200. We have been sent here to stand up for Scotland, to represent our constituents. And we have an absolute duty and obligation to say that we need to make sure that Scotland is a destination in Europe, that we can drive prosperity, that we can drive that fair society. And we say to Westminster, if you want to come out of one union, you may end up coming out of two unless you respect our position. Work with us. Allow us to retain access to the single market, or you will be facing the situation that we would have no choice but saying to the people of Scotland, if you want to have that European destiny that we seek, that we share so much, then the only way we are going to be able to do that is through independence. And that will be the actions of the intransigence of this Conservative Government. Yeah. Yeah.